What is up, Jack to Nerdy fans? Jeremy here with my initial out of the theatre reaction for Oppenheimer. I tell you what, I cannot remember the last film I went to see that had this cin- the cinema as packed as it was for this film. It was really, really good to see so many people out at the cinemas again to watch a good quality film. So my initial reactions are, I mean, this is classic Christopher Nolan. He's done a fantastic job in writing and directing this film. Um, Again, I cannot remember the last film I went to see that had a cast this stacked. The the casting is incredible, top to bottom. You know, even in the supporting, really like, you know, minor supporting roles, the the calibre of actors in this film is just absolutely fantastic. It is a long film. It is approximately three hours in length. So it is a very, very tough, long haul. So... Be prepared. If you're going to come and see Oppenheimer, make sure you've got plenty of time up your sleeve. It is a long, long film. Is it too long? I'd, at this point in time, I'd have to say yes. I will think about it a little bit more over the night and uh, elaborate that a bit more in my full non-spoiler review. But in my initial re- thoughts, it is a long film, but it is a good film. Um, obviously, it's there's no there's it's not an action film, you know. If you're just looking for good drama, um, you know, I love films based on historical events. Um, so, look, I enjoyed this film thoroughly. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I will go into a lot more detail tomorrow when I post my full non-spoiler review. Uh, but in the in the you know the short term absolutely phenomenal film stellar casting great writing I, I cannot really fault this film except for the length but again hit that subscribe button make sure you check out my full non-spoiler review tomorrow where i'll go into a lot more detail until then guys stay jacked and stay